since I have a nice fresh molt, I wanted to show you how to determine the gender of your tarantula. Let's take a look at the molt. This is the most definitive way to tell if you have a male or a female. This area here, obviously, this is where the legs went in, this is where the fangs were, and this is the abdomen of the tarantula. So it was folded over like this. And as the animal molts, they burst usually the seam splits here and they vary slowly. And this tends to kind of flip completely upside down. So you want to look here. Here are the book lungs. And here is where the epigastric fold is in the female. If you see an area that basically looks like a pair of lips, If you look at this area here, this is the female's epigastric fold. And if this is what you're seeing, that means you have a girl. So that is one absolute way to determine whether your T is a male or female. Obviously in a really small sling, this is difficult to see. Examining a fresh molt like this is one way to decide for sure if you have a male or a female. A smaller molt is more difficult. Most people look at them with microscopes. I bought a microscope a long time ago, but I haven't figured out how to hook it up to my camera to show you guys uh, how to sex a tiny molt yet, so that will be coming hopefully soon. Let me know if you know how to do that. Also, the molts tend to shrivel up and kind of distort fairly quickly. So if you have an old shriveled up molt, you may not be able to see much in that. If you already have a molt that's too hard and it's no longer pliable, what you can do is spritz it with some um, soapy dish water and um, that'll kind of soften it up, sort of like when leather gets all crusty and stiff you can kind of condition it and make it soft again. That way you can manipulate the molt and try to see what you're looking at.